The DX8 features real-time telemetry. Real-time telemetry allows you to monitor critical aspects of your model during flight. In this segment, we're going to give you an overview on those particular items. First off, I'd like to show you the available screens in telemetry. The first screen that we have is called an enhanced telemetry screen. It features all the telemetry functions that you presently have attached and hooked up. In this case, we have voltage, that's flight pack voltage, RPM. There's no reading there because obviously the model that we have here is sitting at rest. Temperature, room temperature right now is 77 degrees. That's receiver pack voltage. Uh, frame losses and holds, which are zero. That's RF link performance, and we have a timer at the bottom. Your next screen is a flight log screen. The flight log screen includes information about the RF link performance. It includes the fades, it includes frame losses, holds, and receiver pack voltage. The next available screen shows the telemetry options that you have active, in this case voltage, RPM, and temperature. And the last screen that I'd like to show you shows minimum and maximum. So after a flight, you can land, you come in here, and it shows you what your maximum voltage, minimum voltage, RPMs, and temperature. By the way, to clear that from that screen, you push the clear button, and everything goes back to the preset settings. One of the neat features about telemetry is you can preset alarms at specific thresholds. So actually, your transmitter can warn you if your model is entering an unsafe condition. In this particular case, we've got a model here, and we have the temperature at 78 degrees here. I've actually preset a threshold for 80 degrees. Now watch what happens. I have the temperature sensor. Normally, this would be wrapped around your engine head. I'm going to go ahead and heat that up. When it reaches 80 degrees, you can hear we have a tone that's going off, and the screen reads warning, and it shows which particular warning. By the way, if you're flying, that's pretty irritating. You say, hey, warning. So simply press clear, and it'll take you back to the previous screen. Now, by the way, that resets the warning. So if this drops below 80 degrees again, and we exceed that 80 degree temperature, the warning is going to continue, you know, will go off again and again. You can press clear. So, uh, by the way, we also, you'll notice that we have battery pack voltage, we have RPM, and we have temperature. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and spool this up, and you can actually see a reading. There's an RPM reading. And we won't spool it up very much, we'll just give you an idea. So by the way, the RPM reading, in this case, is head speed. In the RPM section, you can actually program gear ratios and also pull counts for motor. So for a helicopter, obviously I want to know my head speed, not my motor speed. That's another feature and function that the telemetry uh, offers. In the system setup screen, there's a function called telemetry, and that's actually where you set the parameters for telemetry. In future segments, we'll show you specifically how to set up those parameters for all the various uh, available flight log data, RPM, temperature, and so on. But in this segment, I'd like to show you a feature called settings. In settings, you highlight settings, you go to display, and you can highlight telemetry, which means telemetry is always displayed, main, which means telemetry is never displayed. You'd use that if you don't have telemetry on board, roller, which means you can adjust using the roller from one screen to the other, or a neat function that's called auto. I'm going to select auto, and then I'm going to go back to the main screen. So I'm on the main screen, so it says flight mode hold. That's a warning screen. You'll notice that the telemetry bars come up here, and I get flight log one. Because I turned the transmitter off and back on, I just recorded a hold. So that's a warning that I had preset. Now, let me show you what's neat about the auto screen. When I start the timer from the main screen, and the timer's back here, but you can put it on throttle or wherever. When I start the timer, auto automatically takes you to this enhanced um, telemetry screen, and obviously the timer's displayed and all the information's displayed. So auto function, pretty neat deal. It automatically takes you to the telemetry screen when you hit the timer.